Hello guys, welcome to the channel. It's Rad and uh, this is going to be a Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising weekly tarot reading for March 18 to March 24, 2019. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, once again, reminding you that this is going to be a general reading for Taurus star sign. And uh, for that reason, the reading is going to resonate in a different way and level with every single different Tauruses. But for a more personal touch, meaning that your personal situation to be analyzed by me through, uh, through Tarot, then uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of uh, my services for private readings, as well as their pricing, which are starting for just as little as $12. Um, for the reasons I decided to keep up uh, the reduced prices for the month of March as well. So to make myself more accessible for people we need, especially a, a financial one. So that being said, going to the reading straight away, uh, the first card, which is marking the topic for you Tauruses, that is to be the Seven of Cups, followed by the second card, which is the negative approach toward the situation. What you should not do here, that is to be the King of Swords, followed by the third card, which is the positive approach toward the situation, and that is going to be the Knight of uh, Wands, and the last card, it is the final outcome of growth. Should you follow here the guidance of uh, Taro, that is going to be the Ten of Wands. So once again, uh, Seven of Cups, then it is the King of Swords, followed by the Knight of Wands. And the last one that we do have, this is going to be the Ten of Wands. So it does look like that... Um, a lot of you Tauruses throughout this week are going to obtain huge sobriety. That is because in the alignment of these cards, it does look like, well, the, the spectrum that the reading can uh, manifest itself, it's very wide. Uh, it, can, it can be uh, from having unrealistic goals uh, to uh, making some mistakes back in the past. And now those mistakes are to be corrected through a some sort of disappointment. In either way, should you follow here the guidance that Taro is uh, having for you guys, uh, it does look like that at the end uh, you are to fix things which are kind of like lacking stability because it's what we're talking about here. Uh, it's a situation which isn't stable and it is very vague of what is ha what is to happen next in it. So the first card here, which is the topic that is going to be the Seven of Cups. And um, if you take any kind of tarot book, you are going to see that the Seven of Cups is all about delusions. Uh, it's about one being lying to oneself about the goals, about the expectations and so on and so forth. It's, it, it's about a, um, well, in my language, we say it's a... Um, cloud towers, or rather things which may not be uh, very accessible and manifestable, if that is a word in English. But the thing with the Seven of Cups as well as a topic is that um, you may obtain, like I said, a huge sobriety and ground yourself either through one disappointment, seeing that your actions are actually not going to breed any results, you know, that is if you are premature with your incorporation into one undertaking, like into one relationship or into one career, or, you know, take some time, you know, think the situation thoroughly and then, you know, realize that, no, this, what I'm thinking right now isn't going to work very well. So it is best if I try something else. And it's so, what is that, what that week is all about, to try out something else, either regarding your career or either regarding your relationship as well. But when we do have Seven of Cups, it is best to be uh, non-confronting and as well, um, how can I place it? Um, being able to detach yourself from very serious situations, just once again, because the Seven of Cups is about not knowing how things are to turn out. Therefore, throughout this week, it will be best if you strain yourself from taking any important decisions, either regarding your relationship life or as well regarding your career advance, 
from now on moving forward into the future. The accompanied card here, this is going to be the Six of Cups, which uh, the formation is passive supporters. And it's gonna be more on the positive side with the, with the Six of Cups. Uh, I do suspect, or I firmly believe, that we are more most likely talking about a, um, what did I say before? Um, this goes um, unachievable goals. It's just, I, I just lost the word, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. In, in these kind of situations, I'm feeling myself so embarrassed. But unjustified goals, let's say it that way. Um, <clears throat> which, if you are more prone to first analyze the minor details there, the trifles, you know, and uh, uh, in general, the, the stones that can turn over the courage, then you are to see, you know, that it's not going to be as easy as you think it is. But with the Six of Cups here, that is one sign where you should not entirely give up on your ideas, on your idea, you should not entirely give up on the person that you're trying to intro and so on and so forth. Because in this formation, uh, are your dreams, fantasies or seeds growing? It does yet remains to be knowing. Therefore, it may take some time to develop, but at this point, the development is not in your hands. Okay, so you need to leave, if you want to say the universe, to first develop the very core, the very foundation of the situation. And from there, you know, you can, um, you can take off. But uh, take it as a, a formation of, uh, of a galaxy or a formation of a, a solar system here. At the start, everything happens at random, you know. So you are at the start of this um, of this goal or a dream and need to allow the randomness to basically sort out the circumstances and as soon as it's ready from there you know you can take off be more grounded be more uh, or, or take on the situation where it is much more predictable and uh, sort your strategies according uh, to it but uh, with these couple of cards i could definitely take that this week is going to be a, a very potent week for those who are doing creative job um, or who are and interacting with people in a creative way. But just giving you straight away an example here, you want to be with that uh, woman, but you don't know how to make an impression, write a poem, uh, a poem, send her a flower, and so on and so forth. These gentle gestures, you know, that, uh, um, that are truly kind of like making a, a mark into one's mind. This is how you should approach any kind of situation uh, throughout the week. But uh, the second card here, which is the King of Swords, that it is the negative approach toward the topic, Seven of Cups. And uh, th this card regards to two, two couple of things. First, it is that you should not use your connections and your influence, you know, to alter this outcome, this insecurity, which the Seven of, uh, the seven of Cups it's incorporating for you throughout the week. Basically, uh, let's it develop as the flow goes. And a second, uh, the, the King of Swords points that you should not try to overthink the situation in a sense, hoping that if you make your firm analyze, that is going to reveal you the way out of, uh, of difficulties and of these plights. That is because just like I said, right now things are happening random and even the most brilliant mind cannot predict what kind of uh, how the things are to develop afterwards. So that's why at this moment, it will be best once again, not to take the things serious, seriously and the matter seriously and just enjoy life, which is actually engraved in the third card, which we are going to go in a minute. But with the King of Swords here, guys, you should not take the things too personally and as well too too, too seriously, if I may say it that way. Like if, if this doesn't happen, you know, with my life is all is over, or if this doesn't happen, I don't want anything else and so on and so forth. You know, these kind of like unyielding standpoints where it is either all or nothing. And that is because right now, 
like I said, no one, no one knows. Uh, my my point is that the um, the development of the situation is anybody's guess, and uh, no matter how much you try with the King of Swords into this situation, it is highly unlikely that your guess is going to be the right one. It could be, but if if so, it's going to be not because your analytic skills. Not that I say that they are um, poor, but because of pure uh, chance. The accompanied card with the King. That is going to be the, the uh, Empress. The formation here is active enemies. And uh, uh, here we are talking about detachment, just like I said at the start, detachment from the situation, waiting patiently things to become more secure, more defined, and as well more predictable before you actually make your decision how to take on this situation with the suitor or with this project or in general with let's say with the uh, with the traveling okay that your social circle is planning to do uh, this is these are just an examples because uh, the appearance of the empress here it does point out whatever um, decision you make in order to um, on how you're going to act upon such presented situation it should be very very maturely defined that is because as the Empress persists here, it means that you are to reap the fruits of your labor, either good or bad, or what have been sown in the past, meaning this time in the present, is going to be reaped in the future, either good or bad. And you don't want to, um, to sown your harvest into a, a times of insecurity and times of, uh, uh, let's say, unpredictability where everything happens by a pure chance, but rather you want more control upon your field of harvest. And that's why it is best right now to just let it go, you know, wait to see how things start to develop first uh, until they kind of like shape themselves into a more sustainable form. And then uh, guys, you know, decide how you're going to take on the situation. Some of you may decide not to take on the situation at all. Just like I said, are your um, dreams or fantasies or seeds growing? It yet remains to be known and is going to be different for every single one of you Tauruses. The next card that we do have, that is going to be the positive approach toward the situation. And this is the Knight of uh, Wands. So you have to present yourself very enterprising, meaning that as you abandon or rather like put on hold this dream of yours or this goal of yours, which looks very uncertain how it's to develop, this card asks you to uh, be more prone to enjoy, your, to enjoy yourself with the exterior and peripheral circumstances in life. Spend more time with friends, you know, go out after every day's work on a, a beverage with co-workers of yours. Um, basically, indulge yourself more with the things that are making you feel happy and that are provoking glee in your life as well. The uh, Knight of Wands here as well uh, adds a, a shade where you are going to feel extremely satisfied if you help other people. So, uh, <clears throat> or kind of like it, it will make you feel that you do matter. All right. So if uh, in your career someone asks for your help, it's going to be a good thing giving it. Uh, same goes regarding your uh, social circle and your relationship as well. But uh, the Knight of Wands also here points that you should take some risks and try to uh, experience things that you haven't experienced until this very moment. If this is a reading for me, guys, and I live in the United States because here in Europe, we don't have these kind of parks. But if I live in the United States, um, I would take the risk and, and go to roller coaster because I never been there and it seems very scary to me. But in the same time, it could be a good experience. So these kind of risks we are, um, we are talking about here with the Knight of Wands. Basically, find new things which are to boost your muse and to make your daily routine much more exciting so you can keep your mind occupied aside from this uh, early forming and shaping uh, goal of yours. The accompanied card here that is going to be the full card and the formation, it is active friends. And definitely it is about taking the leap of faith. 
in a sense of the being open for everything new that it is presented to you. Now, with this connection, there is a, a much stronger relation to the first card, which is the Seven of Cups, but I could tell you that it does not relate to it uh, directly in a sense of that these risks, these risks are not related to the Seven of Cups because you may think, well, it says that, you know, he's he's saying right now that the situation is going to be very, you know, unpredictable and then he says to take the risk. So maybe I have to take the risk regarding the um, insecure situation. No. Now, this formation here, this formation, these are passive enemies. So the risk you take is definitely going to hurt the sobriety that you are going to get. If these were passive friends, or we do had, let's say, the uh, Knight of Pentacles, you know, or the Page of Pentacles, or Ace of Pentacles, or some sort of an Earth card, then I would say, yeah, it does relate to the, uh, to the situation at the start of the week where things are um, unpredictable. You know, I would have told you that as soon as I see the cards. That's why I'm turning the, the main four cards straight away just to know how each one of them relates with the first one that it is the prime card. But these leap of fates here, it is all about you finding, you know, new muses and new fulcrums of, uh, of joy, glee, and uh, in general, uh, life fulfillment, okay? And uh, these cards could also point that you can find a, a new way to exert new beginning for yourself in either way. So this goal of yours that you may have at the start of the week, it could seem everything that you ever wish, but somewhere along the way throughout the week, something else could come up in your mind and an idea, you know, or a shared dream with a friend of yours and so on and so forth, which is going to overshadow or overlap the, um, the initial, you know, the, the initial goal of aim of yours that is marked with the Seven of Cups. And, um, which is to make this Seven of Cups com completely irrelevant. And from there you take the leap of faith, you know, being open for everything new and uh, basically, you know, provoke a new beginning in your life. But on the grand scheme of things, these couple of cards are advising you to be non-confronting, very detached from the seriousness of the situation, always aim to um, have these extremely joyful um, enterprises and experiences in, in your life in generally enjoy yourself guys throughout the week and don't take thing, uh, don't take things seriously. If you can postpone decision, that is going to be the best thing you can do you know, for the, uh, for the next week. And it's, it's just spend a week in the way that you like to spend it. And uh, that being said, you're not obliged to involve yourself into wrangles, confrontations, you know, or even to take a, a, a big faithful decisions, at least for throughout this week, March 18th to March 24th, 2019. So uh, uh, the last card that we do have, this is going to be the Ten of Wands, which is the final outcome of growth for you should you follow the guidance of Tarot. And this card marks that you are to lift off a, a great, great burden from your shoulders. Basically, I do suspect that for the majority of you, it is how I, uh, how I said it here with the uh, Knight of uh, Wands. You are to find much more amusing goal for yourself, completely abandoning the first one, which is very um, shady, which is very unpredictable, and it's anybody's guess. And that will allow you to be much more confident when you go uh, forward with your future. Not to mention that with the Ten of Wands, you are going to find yourself very, very pleased by the circumstances you are finding yourself at at the end of the week. And there you are to as well see an awesome opportunity for yourself, either in the framework of these um these circumstances that the week shaped or a new circumstances that are to be a result of those circumstances from the week shaped, if, uh, if that makes uh, sense. But whatever, whatever the case is, you are to uh, realize that uh, in front of yourself, there are many benefits and efficient ways to proceed forward with and many fruits of your lab labor to be, uh, to be collected. It all comes to that, you know, how carefree and how 
adaptable, if I may place myself that way, you are to collect as many as you can. And the last card here that is to be the Page of Swords, which uh, the formation is Active Friends, and definitely points that you have to, this time around, rely on your uh, intellectual um, uniqueness, if I may display myself that way, and learn you know, how to make maximum out of every kind of situation you're finding yourself at, even despondent one, okay? Because uh, this time around, you have to look at all the situations you are finding yourself at, that there are pros and cons, and with these cards, you are blessed to take advantage of all the pros and be unaffected by, by, by all the consequences of it. And also, as when you feel most needed or when you feel that a help is most needed and that you are about to break and snap, a new source of help is going to come around that is going to basically help you tackle with all the responsibility and make your goal this time around from unpredictable one and being anybody's guest, guess very, very achievable. So that being said, Tauruses, this was your uh, weekly tarot reading for uh, March 18th to March 24th, 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, this was a general reading for Taurus's star sign. And for that reason, uh, it's going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single different Taurus. So if you want more personal touch, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot cards and to give you a prediction for the future, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, uh, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing that are starting from just as little as $12 for a reason that I decided to keep my reduced prices for the, mar uh, for the month of March uh, as well to make myself more accessible for the people in truly financial need. So that being said, I'm signing out now. See you around. Bye.